Park, and since then it's never been found. But that wasn't the first time Cinderella made headlines. She has been stolen once before and vandalized. I thought that like someone took her because they wanted her for like their room or something. An anonymous donor paid for the new Cinderella cutout to be put inside Veterans Park. The cutout is also bolted to the ground so she can't be stolen. Pretty good day to be outside in the park today, too. It was very nice. Now we're kind of tracking the chance for fog. I remember when I was a kid and I would watch the news, anytime the meteorologist said anything about fog, yeah. super excited. Why fog? Well, because you can get a delay or you could possibly get canceled. Oh, yeah, you know? that's true. You can it's play like, hooky, but legally. It's like snow for the summer. Exactly, exactly. Summer snow, that's a good way of putting it. So we are tracking that chance. We've had some great sights out there overnight tonight. The Sturgeon full moon has been peaked as well. We had some good shots sent in. One of those being from Kitty and Bear. That's out in Greenville. A great shot. I tried to get one of my weather cameras to point at the moon, but I could not get a good image, so I'm not even going to try. We're just going to take a nice look at Xenia. Nice and quiet out there. Some cooler temperatures settling in as well. Now it's 71 degrees in Dayton, but many places outside of Dayton have dropped well into the 60s. Winds are kind of eking in out of the northwest right now. The low dew point temperatures will allow that air temperature to really drop down over the next several hours. Where I'm really focused for this fog to develop is mainly towards the north of I-70. Even earlier this morning, meteorologist Dante Jones mentioned the chance for fog to form, especially to the north of I-70. So areas like Wapakoneta, Sydney, Bell Fountain, Salina, I think you guys have the best chance to see some of this patchy to dense fog beginning to develop here through the overnight hours, but we need the right ingredients. Some places have them, some places do not. What type of fog are we talking about? Radiation fog, clear skies, and relatively calm winds, as well as uh, some dry air. That will help to actually rapidly cool surface temperatures. Once we get those surface temperatures to really fall low, they meet up with the dew point temperature, and that's where we see that fog forming. Right now, satellite and radar isn't really picking up a whole lot of anything, not a whole lot of clouds either, so for everyone at this point, the clear skies is to check. Things are fairly calm at the surface, so I do believe, especially the northwest corner of Ohio, I think that's where we're going to start to see some of that fog developing in about uh, maybe three or four hours from now. So patchy fog is possible for tomorrow morning. Possibly could see a delay again, especially towards the north. 62 degrees for that low temperature. That's in Dayton. I do believe the places to the north of Dayton will likely drop down into the 50s. Patchy fog in the morning burning up quickly. Nice weather throughout the day. We'll likely see partly cloudy skies for most of the day. Low humidity and temperatures topping off in the lower 80s. So that is perfect summer weather. However, it doesn't last uh, very long. What, what it's going to feel like over the next several days following is much more miserable, I think is the word you could get away with saying, especially by the time we get into Sunday. We're looking at high temperatures right around 90 degrees and the heat index value at 94. And unfortunately, it's not short lived. It looks to continue as we head into Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday, perhaps, as well. With all that moisture that's moving in, just a very, very small chance we see an isolated storm as we head into Friday. After that, once the heat and humidity moves into the region each and every day, more or less, we're looking at a chance for showers and storms to develop. So kind of entering a very active pattern. You might get used to it, and it looks like the extended forecast is leaning for this forecast to continue out there as well for Friday. Again, enjoy the nice weather because things get a little bit muggy, or I should say quite humid, as we head throughout the weekend and into the work week. Meteorologist Dante Jones will be in at 425 for our Daybreak Edition. They'll have the latest to help you plan your day. All right, thanks, Jesse. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says it's been one of the worst years for local farmers. This year, Ohio farmers weren't 